Hi guys, welcome to this video about what you can do if you downloaded a program from the internet and installed it and now you can't find it anymore on Windows or especially Windows 10. I have, um, yeah, one hour ago I have downloaded a VPN, that's Private Internet Access VPN. I've downloaded it and yeah, it went down to the browser on the side. I unfortunately I don't have it anymore. So on the, in the Chrome, it goes to the left bottom side. You can double click and install. And yeah, I even was able to invoke that. It was then automatically here in the SysTray. I was able to double click and yeah, run it, uh, connect and run and everything. But uh, when I go to the desktop, it's, uh, yeah, I can't find it uh, anywhere. So uh, ne next time uh, when I want to uh, start it, I don't know how I could do that. So this is how you find that. Uh, you can go to Windows settings and then you go to apps. And here you have the... Uh, filter or yeah you can do sort by install date and then it should be um, somewhere near the top so here in my case it's uh, this one yeah private internet access and you can click on there and of course the only thing is you can uninstall or modify from here you can you can't do anything like that but now you know the name it's uh, here it's private internet access so what you can do is again uh, click on window and then write private internet access and then you should be able to find your app and here from here you can do much more you can right click on that and then you can say you're on as admin open location pin to start pin to taskbar uninstall uh, the most important thing of course is open file location and then you know where it is and you can create a shortcut so sometimes you're in a situation like here where it just points to the Windows, uh, Microsoft Windows Start menu programs and you still have nothing. I mean, you can uh, move it to here, but this is usually what you don't want. You can miss the left uh, mouse click, but you can click with the right mouse uh, yeah, button and drag it to here and make then uh, create shortcut here. So it's still here. If you uh, drag and drop with the left mouse button, then it's it will go away. If you drag it here with the right mouse button, you have the option to create a new, um, new uh, shortcut. So you can invoke it then right from the desktop. If you want to know where it is, of course, you can right click from here, click on properties and it will tell you where it is. And as you can see, it's on C programs file, program files. I think in the, during the installation, it didn't ask me where to put it, unfortunately, because my C drive is a little bit getting full. I would like to I would love to install it on D, but uh, I think it's not a big program, so I'm uh, okay with that. So, at least, uh, yeah, you have been able now, or you should know how to create an icon on the desktop. If the installer didn't do that, you know how to find the location where it is. You can uninstall it and so on and so on. and. Yeah, that's it for now. I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that. If you have any questions or comments or better solutions, uh, yeah, just leave a comment in the feedback area. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.